Hey, what's up everybody? Aleem from Ambitious here. And today we're gonna to be talking about integrating Firebase Remote Config with Flutterflow. If you have any questions after this video, jump into our Slack community. The link is in the description, totally free. And you can reach out and ask me your question directly or network with a bunch of other Flutter and UI developers. Firebase Remote Config is a way for you to control and experiment with your app without having to release a new update. Essentially, imagine you can customize what's in your app without actually having to build an app, ship it, wait for users to adopt the new version, and then see your updated code. Just to highlight some of the major benefits from Firebase Remote Config, you can make updates without republishing your app, so changing anything from text to button colors to routing. So let's dive right in. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm building an app called Virally, AI social media assistant. Um, it's been generating some passive income. We have a paywall where users can subscribe for an annual membership and get unlimited access to the app. So of course the goal is to increase revenue and increase the conversion rate of my paywall. So I wanna experiment with changing the header text remotely to drive more uh, revenue for the app. The first A-B test we're gonna implement is dynamically updating this text um, to be set from Firebase Remote Config. In Flutterflow, open up settings and at the bottom of your settings tab, you'll notice that there is Firebase Remote Config. Enable Firebase Remote Config and add a parameter. In my case, it's gonna be paywall header text because I'm updating the header text on my paywall. Cool, and the variable type is string and I'm gonna say become a member is my default value and I'm gonna create this parameter. So the next step is we need to create the matching parameter in Firebase Remote Config. So if you open up your Firebase dashboard, you should already have this hooked up. Um, I will link the Firebase integration documentation in the description. Hit build, then you will find remote config at the bottom. Cool. Now we'll create the configuration and it's gonna ask for our parameter name. We wanna make sure this parameter name is the same as the parameter name that we included in our Flutter flow configuration. So we'll use the same parameter name, paywall header text, the data type is string, and we'll say, the top heading displayed on the wirely paywall. Cool. And the default value will say become a member exclamation point. And I just slightly altered the default value just so we can make sure that our Flutterflow app is reading the value from Firebase Remote Config. And we'll hit save. Cool. And now for sake of testing, we'll go ahead and publish these changes and make the changes available to Firebase Cloud. Now we need to tell the paywall to read the text from Firebase Remote Config. So I'll tap on the text and I will instead of passing a explicit string here, I'll hit set from variable and I will find Firebase Remote Config and you'll notice that paywall header text is already there for us. So boom, now we've told our UI to look for paywall header text that will be coming from Firebase. The next step is to test and make sure this works. Quick heads up, you can't test Firebase Remote Config directly in the web-based simulator. So what I have to do is send a new version of my iOS app to test flight and check that Firebase Remote Config is properly fetching data um, on a physical device. So. I just sent my app to test flight and I'll be back with some more updates. Beautiful, so after a few minutes, my app finished processing in App Store Connect and I pulled up my paywall and voila, I see become a member from Firebase. And that's exactly what I have in my Firebase config. And there you have it, we successfully integrated Firebase Remote Config with our Flutterflow application. This unlocks a range of possibilities for you to A-B test and release features with confidence. You can expect my implementation of Firebase Remote Config to get more sophisticated over time and I'll be sure to make videos about how I'm using it to drive more revenue for my mobile app. Any questions, use the link in the description, join the Ambitious Slack community, you'll get direct access to me and a network of ambitious learners from around the world who are building apps, designing UIs, and could potentially partner up. See you in there.